so in the <clears throat> last lecture we left few things a little confusing we said potential energy which is expressed by letter u our gravitational potential energy was given as gm let's say we are talking about earth gmem over the distance r and we use this formula to explain that if we go if we are ne if we near if we are near the surface of the earth which means um let just to i forgot to explain that change in energy or work done to move object from ri to rf is given as uh, g m e m in the bracket 1 over r f minus 1 over r i well actually it was plus here <coughs> and minus here which can be understood from here that u f is minus g m e m over r f and u i is minus g m e m over r i so u f minus u i uh, is nothing but this guy okay so that was a change in potential energy and to produce this change we have to do some work and this is the amount of work we have to do all right and we also showed that if r i was r e which is the same as radius of the earth so we started at the radius of the earth and if r f was r e plus h where h is very small compared to r e we said that u f minus u i can also be written as m g h okay so the amount of poten the difference in potential energy between two points is between two points separated by distance h is m g h so to go from here to here you have to put in energy m g h all right okay let's to make an observation here you see as r starts increasing that means you you separate your object you move your object from the surface to very 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 far away when r is very big then what happens to you you see as r goes to zero well infinity actually a very large number u goes to zero which means the object does not have any any u any potential energy left so what's going on well this is all because of this negative sign and and because of the way the gravity acts which is so this is the formula which is responsible for that because this is an attractive force this is an attractive force and uh, so these two masses are attracting each other so the the energy the potential energy of this guy around this big mass is actually negative which means you have to provide it energy so this is an absolute energy you have to provide it energy to make it zero which means you have to pro put some energy to separate these masses you have to put some energy do some work on the smaller mass only then you can you can um uh, separate them so to go from here to here you have to put mgh which is only for a small height a uh, small height near the surface of the earth and this is the energy you have to provide from going from any r i any 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 height r i or any distance r i to any distance r f so um this negative actually becomes zero when um when you uh, when you take the object far away from the from the from the from the planet so that's why there's a negative sign it's the system it has a binding energy they are binding with each, with each other and that's why there's a negative sign sir okay let's talk about planetary motion so instead let's say the object is not at not still but moving with the velocity v let's say a moon is moving with the velocity v around the earth 
then what is the total energy the total energy for this guy now we are not talking about change in energy we are talking about the total energy of this guy is going to be half mv square let's say the mass is m plus or in fact minus g m e m over r where r is the distance this distance so this is the total energy of the system okay and also you know that from from uh, the from the idea that this motion is being pro the centripetal force of this motion is being provided by force of gravity which means we have said that gme m over r square is nothing but mv squared over r this is the centripetal force which is being provided by the gravitational potential energy you see towards the center we can also write half mv square equals half gme m over r so you see half mv square can be written uh, as half gme m over r and this whole thing can be written as gme m over 2r so this is the uh, the potential energy uh, this is the total energy of the object moving in the orbit and uh, this is the energy of the object lying still on the surface of the earth or on on some distance rf from the center of the earth so this is the potential energy of the object which is as distance rf from the center of the earth and this is the energy of the object which is moving in a ray in an orbit of radius r about the center of the earth so this is more than that this is negative but you see it's a smaller negative and this is a bigger negative so this energy is more than uh, the energy of this guy okay so i hope this is clear but uh, and let's talk about a little uh, related topic to this what uh, we have been talking about so on the surface of the earth we said u is g m e m over r and that is negative so how much work you have to do so that you free the body well you know that it should be positive so if you do w equals g m e m over r then you know u plus w is zero which means you do this amount of work provide this amount of work to this mass and you free the mass you put you you make the potential energy zero okay let's say the way you do the work is by giving it some velocity you launch the ball with a velocity v so if you launch the ball with velocity v which means you have given it energy or done work on it half mv square on the surface of the earth so if you launch the ball with this velocity then this should be same as g m e m over r and if they are equal you will be able to provide this amount of work which is same as in which will go in overcoming the potential energy um the negative potential energy of the small mass which is binded with the big earth so if we solve this we get v equals 2g m e divided by uh r square root you see if you move things around this is what we get and this turns out closely to 11 kilometers per second for earth So if you you have to throw your ball with this velocity only then it will be able to escape the gravitational field of the earth only then it will be able to overcome this potential so this is the called escape velocity and it depends as you can see on the mass of the planet me and the radius of the planet i should have written re here because we are talking about radius of the radius of the earth this is what we should r is the radius of the earth so for moon the scale velocity will be different in fact it's much smaller than earth and for sun should be bigger because it's much heavier okay 